In this video, we're going to talk about using Desmos. Um, it's obviously a, a website. It's got a free graphing calculator, which is pretty stinking awesome. You can use this on your homework. You can use this on your tests. Okay, so it's desmos.com. Okay, and when I click on graphing calculator, what pops up is this. Woohoo! Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is um, graphing a parabola. I already actually went ahead and entered it in. Um, so you can just type it in here, y equals um, with x's. There's also, if you go down to the bottom of the screen, there's also basically like a calculator pad, okay, where you could type it in and do exponents and things like that. But like I said, I already typed one in earlier. So this is the function I wanted to graph, was y equals negative 16x squared plus 128x. And when I graph it, it goes off the screen. Oh man. Okay. So obviously you can zoom in or out, but what we can do also is this little wrench will show you how to change the X axis and the Y axis. So for the X axis, um, I'm going to just have it start at zero and you know, we don't need that graph that big. So let's say we go to 10. Okay. And then my Y axis, I will also start that at zero. And we'll go up. I think I need it close to like 200. Okay. All right, let's see what it's looking like. It's looking a little bit more. It looks like I need to go maybe a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll go 260. There it is. I finally found the top of my parabola. There we go. Okay. So again, this is just kind of playing around with it. Make sure that um, as you're graphing things, you can either use the wrench to choose your window or you could zoom in and zoom out. All right, so this is the graph of the parabola that I will be using in my first example in the next video. All right, good luck. This is your quick little introduction to Desmos. Play around with it, it's free. It's pretty easy to use if you've used any sort of graphing calculator. This'll do the same stinking thing. All right, good luck.